Today I'm going to show you my revamped pickup. Hello, I'm Griffey, talking away in English faith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now we're up in the shop. We've got lots of deliveries coming in and we've got to sort all this out. But more importantly, we are flat out making orders. And Haran and Fleer are in here. This is our wax area. We are going to do a video real soon on how we do uh, bees with candles. That's going to be a future video. Keep an eye out for that. Feel is well behaved and we are just starting to get some stock. Huge amount of volume of candles need to go out next week. And uh, are we going to do it in our ad? Are we going to hit the target? Hope so, for seven to three to do it. Ooh. Take you next door. SS is flat out in here. Hey. Parking orders, SS. Yep. Getting out ready to do the hampers. Yep. Hopefully we'll get everything done. And uh... and the whole point of this video is to show you what I've done to the truck. And I think you'll like it. Let's take a look. And here it is. What a difference a couple of stickers makes. Really impressed with this job. And if we come down the front, we've got the Queen and Griff B in the middle, but we've got the Go Faster stripes going right up and onto the roof. Now I was talking to some boy racer in Tesco car park the other day. And he told me the easiest way to get more speed and more power from your car is to put go faster stripes on it. And he told me you get up to 60% more speed and more power just by doing that. And I thought, oh, well, this guy obviously knows what he's doing in his one litre Ford Fiesta. We'll go ahead and do that. But we haven't got ordinary go faster stripes. We've got hexagonal B ones. Love this. This is my favorite part of the car. The go faster stripes on the Ford Ranger. Now it turns out lots of yellow cars, especially Fords, that is quite a normal thing to do. They put the two stripes up the bonnet. So I thought in keeping with all of that, the two go faster stripes, put a B a theme onto it. That looks and makes the pickup look really, really nice and unique. I don't think there's another beekeeping truck in the UK that looks like this. Pretty much every panel is covered, so we've got the Gwyn and Griff B 
but there we've got Farmvale, Farmvale is Honey Farm in Welsh, we've got Farmvale and Honey Farm bilingual there, gwynninggriffith.co.uk leaves everybody to the website, but more important than that, this is the important bit. Social media, this is where we want new potential customers to go to, we're very active, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn and of course YouTube and we're at Gwyn and Griffith on all of them. And when you think of the new generation coming through, new uh, customer base, they're gonna be younger people. That's what, that's what they're looking for. That's what they spend their whole time on. They're on the phone scrolling. So that's where we want them to take, uh, when they see this truck, that's where I want people to go and see this type of stuff we're doing. Um, social media is so important. If anybody's looking at this thinking, you know, how, how can I grow my business? Social media is a crucial part of it. Now we've got the big Truckman top on the back and because the Truckman top is so big, we've been able to get a big logo on the side there. Gwyn and Griffith established 2010 and look how nice that runs in. Really, really, really good. And on the back, because there's going to be a lot of people driving behind you, this is what we want them to see. So this Truckman sticker is actually on the inside. So I am going to take that off. Sorry, Truckman. I am going to take that off. So then it's just the Gwyn and Griffith there. But don't worry, I'll keep that there. And on the back again, really important got the social media icons we've got the big website on the back and again advertising some of the stuff we do so if they see this truck they think oh is that just a honey truck actually we do honey and beeswax beekeeping equipment beekeeping training and we do bees so the key that's the key message i wanted to get across in the truck i wanted something that you're gonna see remember grab your attention on the road and go, wow, look at that truck, what is that? And then they look and look at it. And all the information on the truck enables people to find out who I am and leads them to us. So that's why I wanted this uh, pickup. I'll stick it up like it is. Because a few weeks ago, the midwife was down just before Angara gave birth, or was it just after Angara gave birth? I can't quite remember, but she's literally, she lived in the village next door and she came here and she had no idea that there was a honey farm here. And that got me thinking, oh, well, everybody around here knows there's a honey farm here, but it's not. People are in their own little bubble. You know, they, they, just, they don't just come across your social media page by accident. They don't, don't just come across your YouTube page by accident. They don't find your honey by accident. You know, your, your honey and product, this got to be there. You've got to advertise and bring people in. So I thought, well, how am I going to get all these people within my locality to know that we sell honey. I can't target them easily uh, on social media. I, number one, I don't know how all that ad stuff works. I don't know. So I thought, well, do it the old school way. We get a really nice pickup. We put all stickers on it. And that is basically a billboard driving around the county all the time, telling people, we sell honey, come to our shop. And I think just print the guys that uh, put the stickers on for me. They've done an unbelievable job. It's ticked every single box that I wanted to. I don't think they could have done a better job. And the way this was done, I sent some ideas to them, the key messages I wanted to get across and just left it to them. They came back with this. Basically on the first hit, we changed a couple of little things and boom, ready to go. Stickers went on the truck. And I am very, very impressed with it. So that's it for this video. That's why we put the stickers on there. That's what we're trying to achieve. We try, hopefully, this being what I call the flagship vehicle, even though it's the only vehicle. Uh, it's gonna hopefully bring the revenue of the business up. It's gonna advertise the business. It's gonna let people know uh, we exist here. Come buy honey with us. And when we go around living honey or do shows, etc then the truck is uh, being used. Because if you want to sell honey or sell anything, people need to know who you are. If they don't know who you are, then they can't buy anything from you. So 
away this truck, if I just go to a petrol station, fill up, and who knows, that petrol station may want honey, they'll see that truck outside, they'll say, oh, are you, uh, do you sell honey? And then the conversation starts just like that. Or someone in the car park or the forecourt will see it and go, oh, do you sell honey? I want to buy some. So I'm going to keep honey in the back of this truck all the time. So if anybody pulls me over, I can sell them honey on the spot. That's another idea that I'm going to try and uh, lead. And that's it. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this job? Did Just Print do a really good job? Or have we spoiled the vehicle by making it look like that? I'm super impressed with it. I can't, when I saw that, I just couldn't stop smiling. It's just exactly what I wanted. And I'm unbelievably happy with the job that they've done. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.